Hey there, Chick here. Today I'm working on a unicorn spit art tutorial. This time I'm not going to torch because I know a lot of people just might be scared of the torch or not want to do it. So absolutely no torching. I am working on this jewelry box. I got it from Michael's and it wasn't too expensive. So this is kind of a good starter project. I'm working with just two colors, Aphrodite and Atlantis and they're metallic they're good on wood canvas glass metal concrete laminate i turned it too fast pretty much can use unicorn spit on anything it is absolutely beautiful it works well you can dilute it and a bottle can last a long time especially if you're using it as a wood stain if you want it as a paint i recommend just practicing first because it's not exactly a paint and it works a little differently Look at that color. Starting with the teal lantis. And what I'm going to do here is just start at the edges and basically just not look like you're meaning to do it in a very symmetrical way. Yes, I forgot I put this in here. I have memberships available starting today, so I'm really excited. I'm going to be getting some merch in. It's only $4.99 a month, and you can have extra content, custom bad or not custom badges, but custom emojis. So I'm really excited about that. But anyways, back to this. So as I go, I'm kind of just doing it, eh, not even thinking about it, just little bit here a little bit there and my main goal is then just not make it symmetrical I will put a link at the bottom in the description area if you want you could click that and go right to buy unicorn spit for yourself there's there's not only metallic there's a, quite a lot of different colors and I just am trying only metallic which I've actually never done before and it is coming out really pretty. But I'll let you enjoy the video here. Uh, it's pretty much all self-explanatory. Just painting and having a lot of fun. Because Unicorn Spit is just that beautiful. <laughs> Alrighty. Enjoy the video.
Now this has been dry, actually a little over 24 hours. Uh, just make sure your spit is dry. And I want to talk a little bit about the wipe on poly. This one, it says water-based right here. You cannot use this on top of spit because spit is also water-based. And when you do, it just smears your, it like makes your spit watery again and smears it all together. So it will ruin it. So do not use this. This one is clear gloss and it's an oil base. And how you could tell the difference if it doesn't like, see, this doesn't really say it. But you go back and then you read it and how you have to clean your brush or cloth. If it says like paint thinner or something like that, then it's an oil base. If it says that you can wash it with water, then it's water based. So today I'm going to use this. I'm not really mixing it up because I don't want too much bubbles. But I'm going to use an old mask. And I'm hoping it will be lint free. It see it looks like it and everything. So I'm just gonna wipe it on. And then there's another use for these masks <laughs> because a lot of them just are ending up in the garbage, which of course you don't want to like keep it around forever. But one more use kind of helps the environment. The first coat, it dries. I, I usually wait about an hour, but it's pretty dry already and it hasn't even been an hour. But what you have to do is sometimes do three coats. I've done four before. Uh, it all depends. Some of the wood, it like it soaks it right up and then you gotta do more and more and more. And I just noticed I didn't get the bottom, so I'll do that after I'm done. But yeah, just a few more coats and you'll be good to go.